but I did. I know I said last stream I was going to sit AFK and let the sniffer eggs hatch. I didn't do that. I completely forgot about that. I think it was like 30 seconds before I actually trans transitioned from the starting soon to just chatting that I realized, oh wait, these eggs aren't hatched. <laughs> it, I haven't set AFK at all. So, can I break these? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're going to take them with us. We're taking these guys with us to the area. And we're going to let them hatch. But also, I need... Is this... This is normal quartz. All this is smooth quartz. I want quartz bricks. And where would I have... Are these all the plants? Okay, these are. I'm going to take these with us as well. Because we're going to need to... We need to have... I don't know how we're going to do this. We're going to eyeball it. We're going to have the eight different custom biomes, I think. For all the different things. And we might have sniffers in one of them. But for now, we're going to start with just... The quartz and letting the sniffers hatch. Because they really... I really need them to hatch and start sniffing out seeds. Which luckily they can do right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two eggs. And since we're going to be here, I'm just going to plop them down right there and they'll hatch eventually. How many different biomes are there? Because we got certain ones because of these. So we've got forest, obviously. We've got forest, spruce, forest. Forest, spruce, forest. Dark oak forest. Dark oak forest. Mangrove Swamp. The Mangrove Swamp. Cherry Grove. Cherry Grove. Acacia. Acacia Lands, I guess. Acacia Lands. Jungle. Jungle, and then... And then, yeah, I guess... Mushroom is land island. I guess those could be the four. So if I go, so this one's gonna be just normal forest, which is gonna have oak and birch trees. The normal forest. This is going to be. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna put down the signs for now. We got the signs. Oh, I need eight. Why did I not grab the other ones? Also, let me just put that guy there. Oh, that's not that much quartz. Uh, I might have enough. Do I have any more back at the castle? Do I have any more quartz? Because I need quartz bricks. Because that's what I want to make the path out of. But I don't know how many of those I have. We also might do we can't do lush cave because that's just going to be everywhere the lush cave stuff okay so what, i needed what four more signs mushroom field no because yeah because i'm not actually having mushroom fields go there and then acacia lands because i don't know what it's actually called it's a savannah acacia lands cherry grove because i want the cherry tree to like hang over here a little bit so you walk in, there's like the petals falling on top of you. And then here's the main thing. The big tree will go there. And then here's the rest of the stuff. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on putting this stuff down. Where is Taylor? Is he asleep? Yeah, I woke up this morning and it was like 6.30. No, it was actually like 6.15 and he had called me wanting to talk about something. Why is my... Am I supposed to be like that? I don't think so. Let me... There we go, that's better. Don't know why my camera has decided to break. But no, he was awake this morning when I got up, and then he went to bed. And I have a pull up on X asking, what's healthier? Going to bed at this time and waking up at this time? Or going to bed at this time, waking up at this time? And the time that I go to bed and wake up is winning. Not that surprised. Welcome to how... We just build stuff. I gotta put this all on the ground. Wait, Taylor. The time is what matters how long you sleep. That's what Taylor says, but honestly, I don't think that's true. 
in the last two days. What we make in just the actual inside of the greenhouse. This is the last thing that we're doing on the greenhouse is this inside part and then it's the village which will be done quick i'm not making that village big in any way and then after the village is done and project time or at least killing the ender dragon another 19 times to start that's the first thing is we are speed running the dragon i'm struggling here a bit think of it yeah gussie when are you going to do 10 push-ups i don't typically do those on stream anymore it just got annoying to do them. It's gambling. That's you never said anything about gambling, Battle Droid. You never said nothing about gambling. We can, we can, we can battle, and I'm still not playing it. I must not. I must not give in to the urge to gamble. Although it is mighty, and gambling is amazing, I must not. I must not give in to the urge. It's easier and less expensive than gambling CSGO. Oh, it's not like in-game currency. It's real money. Oh, I don't want to gamble real money. That's stupid. Gamble fake money, not real money. Yeah, don't play my game, G. All right. You you will be... You know, like, I'm Mr. Minecraft on Rumble. There's hardly anybody else that actually streams this game. You are Genshin, Mr. Genshin Impact on Rumble. It is your game. I will let it. I will let it be your game. And you'll get big as long as you actually start streaming. Your internet gets better, and you consistently stream and upload videos. Then yeah, you and Aiden as well. But Taylor, Taylor's gonna go places. He's going places. Mark my words. I need Netherrack though. Two whole years, yeah. It's only two years. It'll go by like that. Keep in mind, we're. In October, think about this for a second. Like, genuinely think about this. It's October of 2024. How quickly has this year gone by? It's gone by so quick. 2024 has. Two years for you guys is going to go by quick. For me, it might go slow. I'm not sure what it's going to feel like when I'm out there. But for you guys, it's going to be quick. And yeah, Taylor's doing stuff. He's making moves. Okay, I'm going to focus on... I need moss. I need a lot of moss. Because I think first thing that we're going to do is... What do we need to do first? Because we got the custom biomes, obviously. So do I focus on putting the plants in here? Or... Hmm... So I've got the netherrack so I can mark out where the hills and stuff are going to go. I think what I'm going to do is to start, I'm going to put all the netherrack away, and I'm going to go grab moss, because I believe I can place plants on moss. I'm going to get a bunch of moss to put all the different plants on, so I've got all that info. So I need a bunch of moss, and I need a bunch of signs. What's like a green, we don't have a green wood, so I guess just oak. <laughs> what's up what's up brother do you know where we're going no not yet what's up <laughs> why stop brother <laughs> i don't know why that's funny but it is it's stupid funny little ng ninja gaming or ng gaming i'm not sure which one you'd want to be called okay i need to test something because i actually need to see if this will stop stuff from growing because i know i can take a if i take some moss and I take some, what is it, string? I take some string, I take some bone meal, and then I take like, you know, a sapling or something. A sapling, let's just grab an oak one, or a, 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 a flowering azalea, right? We got these two. We got these two, if I go bop, bop, and then if I put string on top, does this stop them from growing? I'm pretty sure string on top of these guys stops them from growing, which is what I want. Because if I go... Well, yeah, he grew up way quick. Okay, good to know. Good to know string on top of the saplings will stop them from growing. 
I just need to make sure of that. So I need those. I need... How much string do I have? Okay, that's good enough. String, I actually probably only need like that much. String, I'm going to need more moss. Um... How much bone meal do I have? Oh, I got tons, actually. Grab the bone meal. We're going to go find... We're going to go to that one stony beach. And just tear it apart. Oh, my... Shut up. Okay, hold up. I need to go tear apart that stone beach. So in terms of stuff that's going to be on... What's going to be on moss? That's what I need to know. Sugarcane can't. It has to be next to water. Can a dead bush go on moss? Yes. I think I need shears. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, dead bush can go on moss. Uh, these can go on moss. None of those. No, no, no. Can... I'm pretty sure bamboo can, right? Yeah, okay. Bamboo can go on moss. So bamboo. A small drip leaf. Yep, you can go on moss, I should have guessed. Small drip leaf can go on moss. That can, that can, that can. I don't think anything else can actually go on moss. So we got the large fern, but that's not going to go on moss. Sea pickle, beetroot seeds, that's grass. Can sweet berries go on moss? Yes. Shoot. Um, do I have more sweet berries? Please tell me I have some more. Somewhere. I need one more. Because I didn't really... I could have just bone mealed the thing. Oh, it's dumb of me. Alright, well. Whatever. I just gotta make sure I'm placing these right. Okay, so there's those 16. And I've got 12 left that I can just place around. So what's gonna go in here? I feel like if we just have most of the flowers in here, that'll probably be good. Not the dead bush. If I have all the flowers, so like, you know, we got that guy and that guy, and then we'll have, you know, the rose bush and a oxide daisy because there's four tall ones because there's that guy that guy and then that guy you know so we'll have a tall one in each corner which way does the sunflower face actually sunflower face is that way so he's coming over here sunflower lilac and then it's the peony which will go i guess here and another white one okay we're going to separate these guys color theory we got to do color theory well we're going to have a white one there, another white one next to this guy. Let's put a red. Orange. We can put actually this guy. We can put an orange one there. And then a pink one there. It's most. There's a lot of white ones I'm coming to realize. That guy, white. We can have some pink petals there, which I'm actually going to need to make that bigger blue and purple and i've still got all oh, the poppy the poppy is one of the most important ones i'm gonna move the pink petals i'm gonna have the poppy be there instead the pink petals will go in the biome with we'll go in the cherry grove biome so we got all the flowers there we'll mark it down what each one is with a sign just saying hey this is what this flower is and then i do want to have a little section that's just for Because there's a lot of, you know, for the for this stuff. So we got spore blossoms, small drip leaves. I want to have a, just a lush cave kind of area. And then general plants. So those are flowers. What? Okay, so I can separate this into biomes. So I'll do that. Let me grab... So that's its own biome. That's in its own biome. That's going to go with there. That's in jungle. That's its own biome. That's in the desert. There isn't a desert biome. Uh, this could go in the swamp. What else needs to go in its own biome? Not the large fern. So the cactus, um... Where do I put the cactus? I guess that'll just be by itself. The cactus can be. Cocoa beans obviously are going to go with the jungle. I'm actually going to have it be like this. 
Dead bush is on its own. Just clean it up a bit, make it look nicer. Yeah, so I'll have like a little hill right there that'll go up and I'll have the trees on it. And maybe that's what we do, is I just worry about one biome at a time until I get to until I get to the point where it's like, okay, so it's the dark oak forest, which isn't in here because the jungle, mangrove swamp, and spruce forest, I know what these ones are. It's the dark oak forest, lush cave, and mycelium biome that I'm not sure how I'm going to do those. I know I want a lush cave just because there's so much, there's so much life in a lush cave that I kind of have to make it its own little biome. But I could also just make the whole dome a lush cave instead. Or maybe one of the domes. Because I, what I want to do is I want to have glowberries hanging from the ceiling up here. And I could still do that. Because I could just have, you know, the mosses like crawling up and stuff. I could still do that. I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Focus on, focus on the forest. Focus on this forest first. And then we'll worry about everything else. Give me, give me some dirt and grass. Okay, I need to grow. I need to have the... I need to have multiple saplings for one. Do my shears have silk touch on them? No, good. Oh, wait, no, they're shears. I need a hoe. Where is... Here we are. I need another... I need one, two of each sapling. So I need another... Where are my sniffers? I have not seen them in ages. Oh, they're grown up, finally. Good job. Oh, and they're sniffing stuff. A pitcher pod, and I thought I saw another one. Yep, another pitcher pod. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Sniffers, for sniffing these. I forgot these existed. We're probably going to put them in the lush cave. Resource. I left my boots in the world. Do you want me to boot it up really quick? I can boot up the world really quick, mate, and, get, and let you grab them. Because don't grind out a whole other set of boots if you don't need to. I'll let... I'll boot up the world and you can grab yours really quick. I'm saying I'm letting you, but realistically, that's not the case. Dang it. Oh no, oh no, you have to get your boots to your left. No. Put my Terraria on mute as well. If it'll load. I'm fine. Well, you keep complaining about it. So that tells me that you're not fine. So come get your boots. You can hear it in the background booting up. Come get your booties. Alright, let me pull back up Minecraft. Okay, so there's that. I'm pretty sure for the forest, like the forest is the most basic one. Nice and easy. Very simple. I just need a lot of glow ink and a lot of signs. Which I actually have a lot of signs, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got tons of them. So if I go up this way... I'm not sure about glow ink, but I can get a lot of glow ink really easily. And torches. I need torches as well. Okay, I needed signs. Probably, probably like that many. I'll just grab them all. Three stacks of signs. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, but I'm just going to grab that many. Glow ink. What's my glow ink situation? Pretty poor. What color dye do I use? Um... I could use white. White dye would probably be best. So we go into... Technically, we could go under the that thing. But I'm not going to. Under the greenhouse. But I'm just used to coming in here. So I'm going to keep doing that. Hello, Squidge. I require your sex. Just like that. I don't know if I can bone meal podzel. I might be able to. Do I need to do the back? And I don't think I need to do the back. Okay, and then I need my moss. I need a piece of moss and some bone meal. Where's my moss? So I got my moss. Because we're going to have sweet berries. I need my bone meal. Bone meal, signs, string. I don't need netherrack anymore. I'm going to keep the pods on me. I probably don't need the grass blocks. I think that's what I actually need. Oh, yeah, I need that and the glow ink. 
Then we got the dead bush and you have another bit of sweet berries up there. Okay, that's quite good. I quite like that. We got a giant spruce tree right there. The normal spruce tree, which I don't think I've marked. I do need to do that, which I'm going to do. Well, I have to do it. Well, I mean, it's a giant spruce tree. Do I really need to have this one? I can. I can just put this guy here. That's a spruce tree. One of the many kinds of spruce trees that spawn. I'm going to move these sweet berries, though, to... Like there. I just don't want to have any in my inventory. I think that's quite a good biome. I'm quite happy with that. That one turned out well. It turned out a lot better than I was thinking it would. So you got, you know, your information. You got your oak tree. All the flowers are going to be in there, so there's no point in marking them here. You got your grass and your tall grass over here marked. Your saplings. All the different things. We got the dead bush, the large fern, which I need to go get more ferns. So I might as well just fly over because I can get those way easy. Just a little. Okay, in terms of jungle, the only thing I need to add, which is the same as the taiga, are the melons and pumpkins that have started to grow. I need another sign. Wait, I need my sign. My piece of moss. Which I might replace this moss with, you know, like glowstone or something. Pumpkin. And then we grab the pumpkin, and he will continue to grow them, and I'll just place them around. I'll just place the pumpkins around. Same with the melons when they grow. But other than the melons missing, I'm quite happy with how the jungle one turned out. It turned, like, you can tell this is a jungle. Like, oh yeah, this is a forest. Just, you know, a nice little open forest. It's the most open one we'll have. No, the acacia one will be the most open, actually. It's quite open. There's flowers and stuff. You, and then the forest is like, this is a proper forest. It's nice and foresty, I guess. And I'm not going to do the mangrove swamp right now because I don't want to worry about it. We're doing that guy. That's going to be one of the last ones we do. Okay, let's drop off our junk. I don't need a lot of this. Don't need that. Don't need you. Okay. Netherrack. What's the next biome that we could do? So we've got the Lush Cave, the Cherries, the Mangrove Swamp, Dark Oak Forest, which is going to be mixed with the Mushroom Island. No, we're not, we're not doing the Mushroom Island anymore. We're just having the Dark Oak Forest with the mushrooms. We don't need to do Mycelium. It's going to be its own little block in the Dark Oak Forest. So we've got the, we've got five, yeah. So what's over here? Let me look, because I believe, okay, another picture pot. And we got the Dark Oak Forest, the Acacia Lands, Cherry Grove, and then the Mushroom Fields, which is this, not a mushroom field anymore. This is the, this is actually going to be the uh, Acacia, Acacia, this is going to be the Acacia Lands. This is going to be Dark Oak Forest, and this is going to be the Lush Cave. The Lush Cave. Okay, so that's our, yeah, that's our little area. Now, can this tree please go that way? That would be so nice. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. The jig, big jig, the big cherry tree going over so the petals fall as you walk in here. That is perfect. And we'll have the other one be like here. Where are you? Which direction are you going to grow? Oh, same kind of direction. They kind of connect. You're not poking out, right? Neither of them are poking out. Nope. Perfect. That's pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that for at least pink petals. And once the grass spreads, I will put stuff there. But also, do I want to have torch flowers and pitcher pods in here? Because there's only three plants on the cherry grove side, which is the cherry tree, the cherry sapling, and the pink petals. And then grass, obviously, that I will grow once the actual grass blocks have spread. But for now, we're good. I grab those signs. I need more dirt. I don't have any. Do I not have any dirt? Oh boy, this, this isn't good. So that's the cherry one. What's next? Acacia? What's in the acacia biome? 
Oh yeah, the cactus and these guys. We're gonna have the sugar cane in here too because I don't know where else to put the sugar cane. The acacia biome has to have something in it. We're gonna have two... No, we're just gonna have one acacia tree because the acacia biome is always empty. How do I get the... The acacia biome has that look. It's got the brown... It's got that dirt. It's got the brownie dirt, so... How do I... Oh boy, this actually is a lot tougher. I mean, it's easy because it's just open. It's pretty much like a desert. I guess we could do a mix of the two. We could do a desert mixed with acacia. That didn't make sense for the cactus, but also, okay, I need more dirt anyway, so let's go gather that and think. Let's go gather dirt and think about what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I want shovel. Because the acacia, the savannas have that, that dirt color that's very, very distinct. And I can't get that color. Every other biome, you know, the cherry tree, the spruce one was easy because there's a certain type of block for that. But with the acacia, that's difficult. Are you playing on Friday? Probably. I probably will be. I want this greenhouse done by the end of the week. I'm sick of it being here. I want to be done with it. What's in here? Anything cool? Blast props four. Okay, I'm taking that. You take the max enchantments just because they're cool. I always do at least. Uh, where's my here? It is in my little dig dug area. Where I gather up all my dirt. Yeah, and then this starts to get filled up a little bit better. I just need to fill up this area and there's nothing much I can do with it. It's just gonna be empty. To make a dirty choke, but I'm not sure you can make it. It's free. I was an issue with it. Make the joke, who cares? No one's gonna get mad at you. I'm gonna put one more like here. But I need to get rid of a lot of these. Most of the stuff has to go. Okay, well, there's our. Our little biome we can put we'll put this guy here with the sapling on top and a piece of string because this is a very empty biome I also need my signs because this is an acacia sapling did I spell that right I can just look I have a spare one yeah, I spelled that right. Acacia sapling. And then this is a acacia tree. Acacia tree. This guy is going to be... Get rid of him and I'm going to mark him as... Uh, what's this called again? Sugar cane? Sugar... Sugar cane. So you can see it and then this is a cactus and I can't bone meal the cactus or the sugar cane I just have to wait for those to grow also this is going well so what I'm gonna do really quick is all flowers and tall grass actually no it's just flowers any flowers that generate here I gotta get rid of but other than that I can place grass absolutely everywhere in this place just no other flowers except the Except the cherry ones. And this is nice, because I actually am getting other flowers that I might need for later. No, no. No flowers. We don't want any of the flowers. And we're doing the mangrove swamp with a Shrek reference, apparently. Which I'm fine with. The tops of the domes are pretty empty, I'm going to admit. I thought the trees would be bigger. I definitely made these domes big enough. So this center one, where we're gonna make our custom tree, that tree is going to be very big. That tree's massive. Am I seeing the spread? No, not yet, good. Grow. Grow, you stupid shroom. Oh my gosh. 
I want one thing from you, and that's for you to grow big and strong. Is that so bad that I want you big? There we go. Brown shroom. Perfect. Get rid of the mycelium. So it doesn't spread. So we got a brown mushroom. We got a red mushroom. I'm probably actually going to put another red mushroom back here. I just need them. I need two red mushrooms and another brown mushroom. Cool. It's not leaking out, is it? Nope. Cool. Big dark oak forest. Now come by here later when all this is grown and put down plants and stuff. But we got the dark oak forest one. Oh, I needed a... Wait. Uh, Do I have a sapling? I need just one. How do I not have one dark oak sapling? I used all of them. I used every single dark oak sapling, really? Okay, let me go grab one more really quick. And now we're on to the hard biomes, which is fun. Just put all this stuff away because I don't need any of it. Because now... Oh, we need to go to Industrial Island. I'm out of fireworks. Um, We're going to make a trip to Industrial Island really quick. I'm out of fireworks and I need some more. Hello. Alright, let's go. We need a lot of mud and probably a couple roots and mangrove stuff in general. I'm not going to take the rails. I don't care. I just want to go there. So you need lots of mud. Lots of roots. Probably not that many roots, actually. Like a stack or so of packed roots would be okay. And then some logs for the actual tree. And then we're good. Hello, old base. I'm going to the laggy swamp. Because I need mud. And I need lots of it. I need lots of this beautiful stuff. Mud. Mud. Nothing but mud. Okay, so what am I getting? I don't want sticks. I'm going to get mm, probably three stacks of packed mud. And then the rest is just mud. I don't want nothing else. Just, just mud. Just mud and packed mud. And boom, little lake. Proper little lake. Where am I? Oh, they're in here. Holy mobs. Yeah, I got to spawn proof these things. Because they will spawn like nuts. Okay. Netherrack and all this stuff away. Don't need any of it. Okay, mangrove propagules. This is the important thing that I needed. Yeah, there's going to be mobs everywhere in this thing. Put shovel away, grab my bone meal. So we got the mangrove propagule. I'm going to put one of them. They've got to go near the bottom. So I'm going to say here. Is this not somewhere you want to be, Mr. Propagule? I'll move you. Do you have to be a source block or will you just grow? What is wrong with this situation? There's nothing wrong with this. What if I put you... Well, I want to keep him... Does he have to be a source block? I'll make you a source block. Nope, he's just very picky. Okay. I guess you're going here in the center then. Because you are a picky little bugger. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. There you go. There's your source block. And here's your bone meal. Oh, I did not mean to do that. No, not yet. Please say this tree actually grows. I'll move him again. I'll move him. Like, this is this is pretty close to dead center of this whole thing. Please grow. And stop growing this grass. Why won't it grow? No, I need the propagule to grow. Otherwise, I'm cooked. He needs to grow. I hate this. I hate these trees so much. They're cool looking, but they are annoying in every other aspect. Oh my gosh. He's not going to grow. How do I get him to grow? I kind of need him big. I 
Mr. Propagule, I kind of need you big, all right? If I... Can I place him on Netherrack underwater? Can I put him upwards? No, I can't. He has to be on mud. What about right there? I just want you to grow at this point. I don't even care if it's wonky. Just grow. Oh, what do I do? He's not wanting to grow. Oh, no. I'm not making one by hand. That's way too annoying. These trees are too big to do that with. What do I hear? Please tell me you grow. I need another P as well. Oh, I'm in trouble. Three. This isn't going well. This, I mean, that first one ain't half bad, but this one is going to be pretty bad. I ain't going to lie. This is probably going to be really bad. Because <laughs> he does not, I just, I can't do custom trees. I don't know how. Maybe I'll design it in creative. That's probably what we'll do, is that I'll stream it and then I'll design it in creative. Because I don't know how on earth I'm going to do that custom one. Da -da 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 -da, place the things everywhere. Get up here and just start placing leaves, have them droop down and stuff. Maybe I'll just steal somebody's design that's already made a giant tree and I'll just tweak it a little. Because I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, you know what? That's not half bad. That's not half bad. Okay, and then I just need, you know, sea pickles, kelp, sea grass, and all that stuff. So I'll put the sea pickles... Well, I need them up somewhere. So we'll have kelp in here, obviously, that's just everywhere. Get quite a bit of it. Get lots of kelp that I can just place everywhere. And this will slowly grow. Up into the area. And then we've got the seagrass, obviously. But that is not really a concern. Because we can just place this everywhere and it works. It just does. Got the seagrass everywhere. Sea pickles, which are going to go right here in the middle. So they actually light up and you can see them down there and then a lily pad which i need more of these i do need more lily pads but uh yeah i don't know how else i can make this better it is mostly plants there were dead bushes in here but it's it you know it's fine how it is okay that's kind of working, and then this will probably be like the little pond up here where all this stuff is. I just need more dirt because I don't have any or stone. It doesn't it doesn't matter what I use as long as I'm using something. I don't think moss can replace netherrack though, so I'm gonna go grab stone because I know it can replace stone and deep slate and dirt, which is what I need it to replace. And I'll destroy that tree at some point. Right now, I'm just going to focus on getting this guy done because I need a lot of stuff. I need stones and I need clays. Clay's going to go last just in case we're going to place it, though. Stone. All right, here we go. I'm going to need a lot more bone meal than what I currently have, but it'll be fine. This is the hardest one. This is definitely the hardest one because it requires the most talent of building. Which I don't have that much of. If I were to do this in creative beforehand, yeah, this this won't be too bad. Because I would have prepped in. I could have changed things. And I'm flying around. Got access to every block. But since I'm just eyeballing it, this is difficult. Please say it doesn't replace concrete or quartz or anything else. Just stone and dirt is all I want the moss to replace. That's why I'm using the stone. It's also going to be dark down there. And then... There we go, just like that. And then that guy will be filled in at some point. And then there's the top of the rock. And I might actually leave the top of this stone. 
Because then it makes sense, because then under here it's all lush cave. So that's probably what I'll end up doing, and I can just grow the lush cave. I just need clay. I need a bunch of clay blocks. And then I need to do this under here, which is... Okay, how do I do that? I need some netherrack. That's what I need. And then it touches right there. So all the stone's moss, at least on the bottom, which I'm going to have to probably manually replace all that stone with moss. Because it's not going to want to spread that way. I don't think at least. It might. It might spread, actually. So if I take some moss. Let's just start down here, because I know down here has to be moss. Start down here, grab some moss, and just start spreading this stuff everywhere. It just starts taking over everything. Hopefully it doesn't spread past the point of where the lush cave is supposed to be. But it does... Everything here just needs to be must. Just make it all moss. I want it all to be must. Alright, cool. A big mossy rock that I need to replace more on the bottom with. But also... Flowering Azalea. Just right at the top of the thing. We got four spore blossoms at this lush cave. And I think that's all that goes on the roof. Are just the spore blossoms. And obviously there's glow lichens, the drip leaves. So I am going to need... There's a... They're everywhere, so I actually don't need these. The drip leaves and the glow lichens. Call kind of all I actually need. So what do I have to place? I got these guys. Spore blossoms. I gotta make sure that I'm also putting these down correctly. Where's my water bucket? Where is my bucket? There it is. Uh, signs, glow ink, white dye. Do I have any more signs? Yes, I do. I don't think I need you. He's just bouncing. He's chilling. Okay, let's mark this stuff down. So we've got a... This is a normal azalea. That's not how you spell it. That is how you spell it. Okay. Never mind. I spelled it correctly. Uh, okay, sure. That's a normal azalea. This is a flow flowering Zelia. Then obviously we're gonna have I'm gonna put a glow berry in this corner. I don't have any glow berries on me. Azalea, flowering azalea, what else is there that we need? The glow lichen. Which I'm gonna put there. Glow Lichen. Glow Lichen, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. The glow Lichen, and then the Glow Berries. Which I'm going to put one of them actually right here. This would be a perfect spot for one. And then... Glow... Glow... Berries. And then right here I will have we'll have some of the drip leaves. It definitely looks nice and we have the particle effects. Let me get rid of all this netherrack so I can actually see it. And then I think we're we're good. Cuz these glowberries will slowly grow and I'll probably have to manually put the berries on them. There's still a couple other like little niche things to do with this one. But if I were to just leave it as is, like, I'd be fine. Like, I look at everything as a perspective of, if I were to die, would I be happy with this being forever this way? Yes, obviously it can be better, and obviously I can put in more details. But if I were to die, would I be happy with this biome, with this little area being the way it is? And yeah, I think I would be. 
because typically how I look at almost everything when I'm building is, would I be okay with this being the way it is? That one, no. I need, I don't have any bone meal. That guy needs some stuff on the ground. So I got the sugar cane, the cactus. I can, I can move the cactus. Put a cactus there, put a cactus there, put a cactus there, and I might just leave the sugar cane there, honestly. Looks fine. Yeah, a little lush cave. Got ourselves a nice little lush cave. We got the azalea, the flowering azalea, big drape lift right there, glow lichen right there, which I will put these everywhere in this place. I'm gonna do that right now. The small drip leaf and the glow berries. And obviously the flower, whatever that thing is called, uh, I've already forgotten. This is why we have the signs. The spore blossom, which I'm never, I must have to, let me put down a sign for that actually, because I can just, I think I can make an up arrow. So right there, spore, if I go spore blossom, I think that's how it's spelled, right? Is it? With an O and not an E. Yeah, Spore Blossom. And then Carrot. Carrot I or L. No, how do I just make a line? I just want a line. Spore Blossom up. Spore Blossom is up. Those pink things. Cool. Okay, I think that's all the biomes. Now I just gotta light them all up with glow lichens. And then we're good. Stop them. No! Not you! Not you! I can just jump my mobs, but not you. You will blow up my work. No! No! Oh, I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. But I had to do this at night. Oh, man. Okay, the small drip leaf lived. The small drip leaf is alive. That's fine. Small drippy is alive. No! Oh my gosh, I see another one. Ah, uh, I got two junk holes I gotta fix. Okay, light up, light up this area, because they seem to want to spawn here quite a bit. Where is he? There he is. Oi! Dirtbag! Yeah, I know you see me. You little jerk. You Look what your kind did. Made two giant holes. My small drip leaf lived, though, thankfully. Because that would have been annoying to get again. So that's fine. We got the small drip leaf alive. He's okay. I just got to do some repairs. Cool. That guy's good. Everywhere else is good. I think we're fine. I don't know why he's up there. How did you get up there? You should... Are you fully enchanted? Oh, he's fully enchanted. Aw, oh, sorry, mate. I didn't realize... Didn't realize in time. Sorry. Oh yeah, they're gonna spawn up here too. That's where that's where he came from. He spawned on top of the mushroom. He just made his way over. Okay. I think everything's spawn proofed. Spent ten minutes doing that. Now we gotta do repairs. Ow. Now we gotta do some repairs. Everyone else should be. Okay, I'm gonna despawn everything. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just going this way. I'm just leaving. Okay. All is well. All is fixed. That might spawn more mobs. Because I don't think that's lit up very well. Hold up. Go lichens. I think I used them all. Uh, okay, well, for right now, I'm not going to worry about it then. Okay. Holy crap, we got a lot done. We got all the different kinds of custom biomes in here with all the different trees and just information about the plants and stuff. So we got this one done. We got the forest, the mangrove swamp, the spruce forest, or spruce taiga, the jungle. Over on this side, we've got ourselves the savanna, the cherry grove, lush cave, and dark oak forest. I am done for the day. Tomorrow we're actually doing this, not tomorrow, Thursday we're doing this inside part. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!